Um, sorry that I'm late. Uh, I didn't mean to be late. It's a steady stream. I'm gonna put my references in here. I asked people to do one ball and two heads and that's what I'm gonna do. Like I said, you could do whatever style you wanted, whatever you were comfortable with using. And that still stands. I might do a couple different styles. Oh my gosh. Well, now I set my phone up for the chat and I and it locked. Um, I have to. I have to share the stream. Ah, I'm sorry. Noises. I have to share the stream real quick. I just got out of bed like less than 10 minutes ago. Maybe I should make the references larger, even larger. I've got this whole area to work with, and it's a big area. So far, I think only one person participated, but that just means that they are going to get better odds in the future, better rewards, better honor. Stream number one. <sighs> oh yeah, let me share this on Twitter as well. Let me sh let me share it on Twitter. Hey Casey, what's up? I got disconnected from the chat for some reason. That's not good. I just saw that your chat on the... What's it called? The browser thing. Yeah, I tried opening it on... 
my phone and I said my phone. Yeah, I'm gonna share the stream on Twitter. Just been struggling on Aries SP, what's up with you? Well, we're in the study stream today. Um, I'm a little disappointed that more people haven't participated because I gave them like three days, but okay. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I guess they don't care. Um, Before I finish mine though, I'm gonna make an announcement on the server saying last call. But yeah. It's like maybe this practice is too boring for some people. people to do is do one ball and two heads. It's like I could use a tool for this but I don't want to. I'm gonna try and like freehand everything. I'm probably gonna do more than one ball personally. I might do like balls with different like Textures or something. <laughs> What'd she say? I'm gonna use my sketchbook because I don't have the fancy online stuff. Oh, that's fine. People are supposed to use whatever they have available to them. It's like it could literally be crayons on the back of a like brown paper bag. I do not care. <laughs> Sorry, I'm moving my mic around. It's really loud. Man, I wish that I could turn my Twitch dashboard upside down, but it will not let me. My phone is charging and I'm trying to read the chat and it's not cooperating. <clears throat> See what I mean by not cooperating? No. I have a, a ghetto rig for my shit, so. Whatever. One monitor struggle. That'll have to do, I guess. I gotta like prop it up with like candles and shit with my microphone. Oh, that's loud, I'm sorry. It is what it is. I hate it. Once upon a time, I had like two monitors and a good computer, and I gave it away to somebody. Because. <laughs> Because I love him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfucking. I'm gonna have to just watch the video like everybody else. Because I can turn that sideways. <laughs> yep, okay. Ah, motherfuck! Man, if only my fucking tripod wasn't broken. Alright, whatever. I think it's good now. Alright, so I'm gonna do a couple different circles because I want to do some with like some texture. So, this is gonna be like my normal circle. 
And I like, I like this one. I like this one. My cat might actually get the front door open, so in a second I might have to go be like, no. Because <laughs> I think my grandfather doesn't shut it all the way. And I think he just opened it from the bottom. Your circle has a chin. That's okay. Yeah. This is really like my my base sketch of the circle. Yeah, I should put this on a new layer, actually. Let me just... Alright. And I'm gonna make a couple more. No! Fart! No! Can not go outside. Get back. Sorry, I had to fucking hurt my cat. Um. Yeah, like I was, I'm gonna add texture to it. So I'll give one like scales or some shit. I'll give this one like scales that like wrap around it. And then you'll see the shadow practice, light practice, whatever. I'll just contour it. Yeah, he jumps for the handle and like makes a full effort for it. And my grandfather didn't shut the door all the way. It was mostly shut, but not all the way. So it made it a, a little more easy for him. But yeah. Also, Aries said he used to be a person. So that might be why he's better at opening doors. Because he remembers how to open doors. This is very relaxing. I'm calming down from the horror I experienced in the SMP. <laughs> You started it, you know. <laughs> you were trying to trap him in junk. You're not gonna win that. You know Aries gonna gonna get you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the study stream should be kinda chill, you know. It's it's a group activity. It's practice. I almost wanted to say it's family bonding, but that makes it feel weird. It didn't have to do with Aerie. It was far worse. Oh. Oh, do tell then. What happened? Give me your hot goss. I can sum it up in two words. The nether. Oh. I usually don't have that hard of a time in the nether personally, but one time I was like up way high, just like admiring the view, and some cute little magma slimes bounced their way over to me. And I was like, oh, look at the little, little slimes. They're so cute. I love them. And then. <clears throat> Four of them 
ganged up on me together and shoved me off the cliff. I didn't even know little ones could shove you. Or maybe there was like the medium sized ones, I don't remember. But four of them ganged up on me and shoved me off the cliff and murdered me. Oh, you're doing great until you started leaving and wanted to kill one more thing, and then all your stuff is just spawned. No, no. Ripperoni, F in the chat. I'm so sorry. Not to mention it was your first time going to a fortress. Ah, I'm sorry. That sucks. Maybe one day I'll be able to play on the server. Kappa. No. <laughs> Scales are looking scary. Yeah, I just wanna try some different textures. You don't have to, of course, but. So this whole thing is shading. Pretty much. Like the whole point of this like little study is shading. The values that kind of thing. So I thought yeah, I might make it more difficult on myself by adding texture. So I'm gonna have a normal circle and then I'm gonna have a scaly one. And then I'm gonna add a different texture to this one. Um, it's like, what should I do to this one? What, sh what kind of texture or something should I add? I need a drink. I left my drink in the bedroom. I don't have any water. Let me go grab some water really quick. I just woke up. I woke up to a Charlie horse. It hurt so bad. And I was trying not to make any noise, but... It hurts so bad, I'm pretty sure I let out a couple of whimpers anyway. And then, I tried to get up, and somebody shut my door again. So when I opened it, it was loud as fuck. I got water. Water has been retrieved. I'm like dried out Spongebob. What? <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to do... I think I'm just going to make it fluffy, soft. I'm going to add like... Little... Like, make it look like wool or something. Add like... It's a fluffy cloud looking kind of... Ball. And this is how I'm going to do the texture for it. Yeah. It's going to be fluffy. That's how the shadows and junk are going to be. It's going to be a fluffy... Fluffy shadow. Oh yeah, for this I should probably just like... Actually, this shadow will probably still look mostly brown still. Maybe towards the bottom here, it'll have some like that, but then it should look pretty much like a normal circle. Alright. So we got that. Do I want to do the thing where I show my sketch, my line art, and the shading? Hmm. Right, let me let me shrink it.
Nein, nein. Ich nehme es von uns aus. Ja, wait. Bausi. Hey. Now I'm going to do the, the landmark layer. <laughs> When's the assignment due? At the end of my live stream. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, maybe till the end of tonight. I wanted to do. Yeah, no. Ah, the end of my live stream. I wanted to do a thing where if people were comfortable with it, I showed off their, their art on stream. People who aren't comfortable with it are supposed to DM me their art and I'll look at it privately without showing the stream. One person has already privately DM'd me their art. Just as like a FYI. So at least one person has already done it. Three ending circle. Oh my god. It's not perfect. But it's not the worst. Alright, I'm using vector so I can just like you know. It's not perfect, but we'll we'll roll with it. <laughs> Should I try one more time? Should I try to like make a perfect circle? Let's try it. Let's try to perfect this circle. Nope. It's closer though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Ooh, baby. So it's right up in here, near the end of the circle where I struggle. Like. Look at this. My circle has a great challenge. Hey Sans! We're doing the study stream if you're interested. It's okay if you don't want to, but... If everyone that does it in junk gets rewards in the future and respect. <laughs> Only one person's done it so far, and I believe Casey is doing it right now. <clears throat> yeah. I might do a third one, after, I mean, after the color of... Just um, painting instead of line art. I don't know. You look at it, and that curves back in the bottom. I need to curve it in more. guy. This guy might be more difficult. Oh my god, stop. The tablet just like shoots it off in a random direction. <laughs> I don't know, should I be like that? I don't know. I think if that shape gets defined it'll just have to be in the shading. What are they? So, in my Discord server, I made a post a couple days ago that read 
at everyone's starting today and ending on Monday when I stream. The f will be the first study stream. You don't have to participate, but I would like everyone to try. I'll keep track of who does and later down the road we'll have rewards for those who regularly attend. It's okay if you don't do well, this is just a practice group activity. Everyone will post their art and hashtag study stream and we can show off the work at the end of the stream. If you would like to, if you would, if you don't want to share your art on stream but still want credit, just DM the art to me. Like I said, this is for fun, so be nice. And if anyone does want critiques, please say so when you post your art. I want everyone to do one ball with shadow drawing using the photo reference and two face slash head drawings using the second photo reference. It can be any style that you want. You can also add more. Feel free, blah blah blah. I posted these two references in hashtag study references. And I currently have them on screen. I'm doing more, because you only had to do one ball, you know. I'm basing it off of this one, because I like this one. But I did one with scales and one that's fluffy. And I'm going to shade and color them. And I'm going to I'm just, basically, it's just a practice to enhance your skills, and also I'm starting off quite early, like like basic shapes and shadows and stuff like that, so that if there are people who do not normally draw, but want to participate or even learn to draw, they can. So as the study streams advance over time, they will start to get harder. But we're starting off simple with some shape and some faces. And you might say the faces are not simple. But here we are mainly looking at the shading and not the accuracy of the faces necessarily. It is just about your concept of light on the form of the face because we are breaking the face down per se into like this kind of a shape. You know, and we're just looking at where the shading is within those like quadrants and stuff like that. So this whole lesson is mostly about the light and the value and junk like that. So I wanted this first one to be one that anybody could do. It's like previously I've had people in streams ask me to help them learn how to draw and stuff like that. And I've been wanting to do practice streams and so I figured two birds, one stone. Plus, um, in last night's live stream I was talking about how I want the Twitch channel to be more community driven. So I'm gonna try and include the community in everyone, wherever I can. So. Yeah. This is a group bonding activity. No. <laughs> it's a skill enhancing group activity. Also, I started a um, channel community reward goal last night that is set at 10k if you look in your spirit orbs or your channel points. So at 10k I'll do a summer themed drawing with my OCs if you are interested. Mitchie said she wants it. So if that's something you want to see, feel free to put your points to that. Also, if there are any other like ideas you would want to see of drawings of my characters, feel free to like suggest them because I'm going to make a big list of like community rewards to make like once a month. Um yeah. Cuz Michi, I don't know if I ever told you about Love is an Art, but I used to like work on a comic that I want to create one day called Love is an Art. She remembered that from when we went to school together, and she wants me to make art of that. So I put it on the list. Basically, I'm just- I'm trying to take this more seriously. Yeah, I love Christmas music. It's my favorite.
Christmas music in June. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas music is the bomb. I mean, yeah, I'm enjoying the music. <laughs> It's like Christmas is in your heart, Airy. It can be Christmas any time of year. All you gotta do is give presents to people you love. You're as far away as can be. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't there like a song called Christmas in July or some crap? You think so? Yeah, it's like a country song or something. I don't even remember. It sounds familiar though. Man, imagine how weird it is celebrating Christmas in like Australia where you don't get any of those like winter wonderland vibes because it's middle of their summer. <laughs> so like the rest of the world is like walking in the winter wonderland and then like Australia is it's a desert I'm burning to death please help me that would suck like does Australia even get snow in their winter or is it just not boiling today. It's like, it's okay, I don't think I have any Australian viewers. They can't defend themselves here. <laughs> That's the case for more than just prison land. Uh... I feel bad for people not being able to fully experience Christmas with their no snow and crap like that. It's like that's like half the fun. You gotta go sledding and build a snowman. Walk around in the cold with like a hot chocolate downtown when they light the, the tree. You're very scared of your drawing, that's okay. That's okay. So, I'm gonna write everybody's names who participate, like, on a sheet of paper and put like a tally next to it every time they participate and then like the ones who keep coming back and stuff like that later down the road we'll get like rewards and perks I plan on perhaps acknowledging people too Oh, if there's somebody I think like improved the most or somebody I think was clever with the way they did stuff I might make like special badges or not badges, emotes in my discord server to use to reward them however maybe I won't post them in the discord server maybe I'll just make an image because I don't want other people to well maybe that could be how we vote on it <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't want other people to use the email because it's what I'm supposed to hand out or whatever.
but maybe maybe I should let people use it because then they can vote for the ones that they think are like the best and stuff like that. Let me know what you think about that kind of idea. If you think it's dumb dumb, let me know. If you think it could be fun, let me know. Let me know your opinion. <laughs> It's a fluff ball. A fluff ball. Seems like a cool idea. I just don't want it to turn into like a competition thing. I don't want anyone to feel bad if they don't get votes, you know? Like, I want this experience to be like overall just a fun, positive learning group experience activity, blah blah blah, you know. Jump randomly. Did your own tail scare you? Look, my cat just like sprang out of his box for no reason. <laughs> Color, any color. I'm gonna need three colors. <clears throat> Purple. I need one more color. Well, two more colors. <laughs> I'll do purple red. I'll do red next. I'll do red for the fluffy one. I see the line I got wonky when I copy that. Alright. One more color. Maybe blue, I guess. Blue. Green. Yeah, let's do, let's do a green for the skills.
I wonder why that happened. Copy and pasting the liner kind of makes it glitch out in some spots. <laughs> like where I'm pretty sure I erased before. It's still there. Alright, so I'm going to be doing the shading just in like the color values. So we are referencing this one. So I'm going to take like a pink, purple, like a very light pink. And I'm going to a color that's like in between the two. And I'm not quite sure how to explain this. But these colors together have like their own values. So instead of just doing all different shades of purple, it should create a bit more of like a unique, a better appealing to the eye kind of like shadow range. And all I have to do is like build up the colors. So maybe I should switch to like an airbrush. Yeah, so it's supposed to get darker in here still. Because the sphere, it has like a bit of a rim light that goes around the edge up until the bottom. So I can come in with like some of that pink right through there. And then I don't think the color I chose for the top, like that fleshy pink, was quite pink enough are quite bright enough, but it was like the inside of it. So I'm actually gonna go even lighter. I'm gonna get close to like the white territory. And it's got a pretty hard like ridge of the color. So I'm just gonna in like that and you can see on the back side of that it has more of the blur so I'm gonna come in on the back side of this and put that in now I think I need the dark and this dark spot it has to come down further. I didn't make it come down far enough. It's gotta like give it like this kind of a swoop doop. So I'm gonna come these here. Cause I'm trying to like get this pretty close. And then this light actually comes down further. This is more of a hard edge and then up here it fades more drastically so let me just mix that more yeah i'm starting to get there and then this actually has to come down even further 
gotta come all the way to like that. Yeah, I'm getting more happy with that. And then I actually need the pink to come. It, it reaches around on this side like that. You see those values? They reach across in like a band. Like, they come in through like here. And this like light band reaches around and this dark it's supposed to come more like this. So let me fix that. Yeah. And I think I need to put some purple in here. I think the pink might be too bright. So like, if you're using a pencil, you know, you can do the same kind of thing. I just thought I could show the value better with different colors. And then I'm gonna use this real like light color as well in here a little bit. Because if you come in here and you look at it, this value is the same as this value. So clearly I needed to add a little more light in this area because this this light here down here on this part of the circle, this part of the sphere, is not actually from the top light source. It's bouncing off of the paper beneath it. So the, this is the main light source you see right here in the corner and then the light coming from the bottom is actually from the surface the ball is sitting on. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just trying. Alright, no, the shadow part. The actual shadow is very interesting. Actually, I can probably get one tone darker for this purple. I can actually. Take it even darker, go like a little more blue and drop it down some more. Just like a little bit. Why'd my music stop? Oh, music. Yeah, okay. And then, as I was saying, the shadow. It's really interesting because the darkest part is like right in here. So there's like a dark part that's like. Let's see. Give me a second. There's a dark part that comes in like right here. And this is like the darkest part of the shadow. And then if you look closely at the shadow, it's not consistent. There's like a fade. So around the edges of the shadow, it's lighter, especially the farther out you get away from the ball.
Yeah, and coming from like the back side here. It's lighter there. I need the dark on the whole thing though. Mm -hmm. Let me add another layer. Here, let me change the line art color as well. It's just like a experiment. Okay, I'm gonna choose like this color. To, like make the line disappear. Actually, I want to keep that there. <clears throat> yeah, it appears I missed some color down here. I need to fill that in properly. Yeah, what do you think of that circle, man? <laughs> what do you think of that? That little light study. I like it.
Now the textures. The textures are gonna be the real challenge. <laughs> So same kind of thing as before, except for now it's going to be like green, greens and blues and stuff like that. And then I have to take the shapes into account as well. Yo, what's up? How are ya? I'm currently doing a study stream with the people from the Discord. Today we're doing like basic- it's our first study stream, so we're doing like basic shadows. So I asked people to do one ball and two faces. And I'm doing a kind of a twist on it, so I'm doing one ball but with two, three because it's like two different textures as well. In order to challenge myself, you gotta guess, yeah. I'm alright, I woke up just like a little bit ago. Like eventually people who participate more frequently will earn respect and rewards from this. If you want to, go for it. Yeah, if you want to. Somebody else already threw some in there, I think. You just look so good, mine looks like a blob of death. No, don't say that, you're fine. Mm. 
like I'm also using a bunch of colors. It's like the reason I'm using colors is because when you have just like black and white, or you use one color, it like it looks worse. With using a range of colors, instead of just going like up and down on this slider here of bright to like bright to dark, if you go in this whole area over here, but through different colors, you get better values and it looks more realistic and lifelike. It won't let you? Yeah, I think it only lets you do like 2k at a time or something like that, right? Yeah. So, using the different colors in your values allows you to play around with it more. It allows you to like make more colorful, realistic kind of stuff. This one might take a while. I did not think about how long these textures are going to take. I just wanted to challenge myself. I can't tell if time is going really slow or too fast. You know, I relate to that. It's like, I bet my little animation in the corner does not help with that. It was supposed to be much longer, but the program I made it in only allowed for 24 frames. So it's like super fast. <laughs> to add a bunch of lights to these. Yeah, Meg, what are you up to? What are you doing today? Watching your stream, obviously. Okay, okay, okay. Sassafras. What were you doing earlier? <laughs> Oh, please don't crash. It's like saving.
What are you drawing? So these, we're doing a practice study. So in my Discord server, I announced that we would be doing a group activity. We're doing an art study practice thing. The people who participate are gonna have the opportunity to earn like rewards and stuff like that and honor and glory and my respect and then eventually down the lane later on when i have more money and stuff like that they'll actually get like prizes but um this is just like the sphere so i chose this one that's the one i wanted to use as a reference and I first I sketched them, line eyed them, and then colored them. And I made a couple that are textured in order to make it more difficult on myself. Because I gotta challenge myself or something. So I'm doing one with texture to add more flavor. And to make my life harder, because I gotta challenge myself. Hey Hip, how's it going? How are you? Long time no see. I'm gonna smooth everything out later with like a blendy thing, but I'm adding value, I'm building up the value with the airbrush, the hard airbrush. You're well? I'm alright! I'm trying things. I've decided that I'm going to try taking streaming much more seriously. Going forward, I'm going to try and be much more regular and even like I've been talking to some friends that also stream and I might try and make my own like VTuber rig and stuff and yeah, just a whole lot of like, you know, trying. <laughs> It's like, what? You're telling me that you didn't call each other or something and tell the other one to come in here? <laughs> I don't buy it for a second. But I do like you guys being here though. Thank you for showing up. It means a lot to me. Yeah, my schedule's kind of all over the place. I have to learn when the best time for me to stream is. It's like, I think like half of my audience is like European, so they can only come when like... <laughs> Imagine like only some of them can come if I stream like right now. It's like middle of the day, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Well, it's 3 something now when I started it was two and then i have american viewers that can only come later when it's like 10 p.m midnight and i don't know if i have it in me to stream for like six to eight hours every time so that makes it kind of hard because my schedules have been all over the place for a while so Actually, 20? Okay. It's like, that's exactly what I mean. It's like... I'm on the east coast of the US, but my work schedule is pretty demanding right now. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I need more dark in here. Cool. <laughs> I 
I'm on Eastern Standard Time as well. I'm in Michigan. <laughs> Mine still looks great, and my green is not appetizing. Oh, that's okay. Like I said, it's just a practice. It's just for fun. It's like, we're gonna do these like weekly. It'll help build up our skills. It's just a group activity, a community activity where everybody can learn and enhance their skills. So there's no need to feel upset or like worry about it, okay? Because together we will get better and together, we will have fun learning. <laughs> Fucking Megs. Yeah, skills are weird. Skills are hard. <laughs> okay, so this is a study, a practice study. So in my Discord server, I made an announcement a couple days ago saying that people had a few days to work on the study. Um, so basically, I gave them these two different reference images and I asked that everybody do one ball and two faces to just choose from these and reference them and do a study on the lighting. So I wanted to make it a little more difficult on myself. So I decided to make two variants of the ball that have different texture. So it's basically just a just a nice little value study. Just a practice kind of thing. I actually don't want to spend too much more time on this. So I'm gonna try and just like I don't know. Hurry it up. I was going to, um, what's it called? Like, blur it all together and smooth it out, but I kind of, I kind of like the scratchy hatch mark look. It's kind of fun. It brings some, like, texture of its own. Uh, I wouldn't say a lot, but I have a handful of people who post regularly. There's, like, if I go through the art tag right now, it's like there's Maz, and Sand, and me. So there's like three right there. Yeah, it depends. We, we, get, like, we get a little bit of people. It's like, we only have, like, 30 members, 40 members. But it's slowly growing. Yeah. Like, I don't want the server to just be art. It is mainly art, but I want people who don't draw as much to feel comfortable draw like, joining. It's like, I do encourage everyone to draw a bit because I truly do believe that everyone can draw. It's just at some point in our lives, like somebody discourages us or something and we stop. But if you give a kid a crayon, you know, they're gonna draw, they're gonna doodle, they're gonna have fun. They're not gonna be like, oh, I'm bad, you know what I mean? So everybody can be an artist. And I want everyone to feel comfortable and have fun and... Like I said in my server, if there are people who want to participate but aren't comfortable with the art being shown on stream or anything like that, they can just DM me and they'll get the credit for participation and stuff like that. Without me publicly showing what they've done because yeah I want everybody to participate I want to grow a larger community I want to 
basically recently I've been focusing on making everything more community driven. So we're gonna have more like community point reward things. We're gonna like do these studies once a week. Um, it's like, I just want to start really, not, well, I want to say relying on the viewers, but like really leaving it up to them so that the streams are what they want. Like, yeah, there's going to be stuff that I have to work on sometimes, like if I get commissions and stuff like that, but yeah, I just want everyone to be comfortable and feel at home and have some fun. That will help with your streaming, I think. Thank you. It's like, um, I struggle with talking a lot, <laughs> but I've been drawing as well lately with that. Last night, uh, we were like bantering around. I got a, like a reward perk now where like you can decide the conversation pretty much. And Ari was spamming that, messing with me, but we were having fun. You'll start to attract a particular audience. Yeah. It's like, I am interested in like playing games after stream though. But like after drawing, play a little Minecraft occasionally, stuff like that. Just because I feel like it. Basically, I just want to have a good time. You feel? <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to stop messing with the scales for now. I'm actually pretty happy where that's going. And now I'm just gonna work on the shadow part of it. It seems difficult to talk and draw at the same time. Some things I do take my 100% focus. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, it is difficult. <laughs> Plus, I'm kind of like bad at multitasking as is. Just like, it's hard. <laughs> it's like. I've never been diagnosed with ADHD, but my brother has, and my mom's fairly certain that I have it too, so that, you know, adds some fun. You're the worst multitasker. Yo, I relate. It's okay. It's okay, I relate. My throat's actually kind of dead from yesterday's live stream. Yesterday, we ended up having a very deep conversation about, like, fears, personality traits, stuff like that. And I cried a couple times, but it wasn't the bad kind of crying. It was just like, uh, and I pulled through it too. I talked through the tears. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> yeah. It was weirdly wholesome, though. It's like... I don't know, man. I... I feel like I can actually do it. You know? I feel confident for, like, the first time in a long time. And... Lately, I've actually had people, like, being there and supporting and, like, just being the nicest, like, people that I could ask for. And it's it it actually gives me some hope, you know. I think maybe I might actually be able to do this, and I'm so thankful. Yeah, go ahead. Any art question? Feel free. So that shadow came from a perfect, came out perfect. I would have never thought to have put uh, the light source where it is on the sphere. How do you know where it goes? Okay, so I'm using this photo right here as a reference. So basically, I'm just using references. So it's the same thing, you could do this, yeah, you could do this with an object in your house, you know, just set it up, take a picture of it, 
or like just set it up on a table with a lamp and just like I'm referring back to this circle and I'm using that as a reference for the lighting on all of these yeah so that's what makes it a study stream is just practicing with what we have also I may I don't know if you were here when I pointed it out earlier, but with the values I'm playing with, I am not just going like down this for my values. I'm staying mostly in this area and I am switching up the colors because, for example, let me just grab like this. Um, yeah, let me make a new layer. Well, I'll grab this and show you kind of how it works. And that is going to look a lot better than just like this. It's like you'll get more range and dynamic. You see what I mean? It feels softer. It feels more natural. So you get a better range and display of colors. Did I do that on the main layer? No, okay. Yeah, so that's like a color theory thing. Today we're mostly working on like values, but colors have values. Like greens and yellows are gonna be super bright and purples and reds are dark. <laughs> it's okay, cat. But yeah, also I was encouraging people to do this with me and they can use whatever they have around their house, that's fine. Like, um, like earlier I said I don't care if you use a paper bag and some crayons. I just want people to like participate. That's my main goal is to get like community, participation, activity, blah blah blah, you know? Alright, now this one, we got like the basic shadow down, but because of the texture, this one's gonna be hard, it's gonna be a bit different, it's fluffy, so I'm gonna go with like a little bit of a different route here. I'm gonna like try and build up stuff. Like, the higher points are gonna be brighter. So, I'm gonna try and... build up... stuff here. I have no idea what I'm doing, actually, when it comes to the fluffy one. This is the hardest one, I think, that I drew for myself. <laughs> so... Bear with me! This is a learning experience for me, too. Why did it do that?
Texture hard. Texture hard. I don't know what I'm doing. I actually need this part to darken up. Cause... So bad. Uh... I mean, from like when you zoom out, it looks pretty good. You're back because hip has separation issues. <laughs> Welcome back. This fluffy one is quite difficult. It's giving me trouble. It does look fluffy though. Well, that means I'm doing something, right? <laughs> Maybe the lines on the inside were just a bad way to do it. I don't know. <laughs> You're full of- mm -hmm. I don't know that I remember that! <laughs> I gotta just like treat this like I was gonna say yarn, but it's definitely more like wool, you know. <laughs> should, should I should think about that choice of words. That's alright. I say weird stuff all the time. Alright. I think what's confusing me is just like the layering of the like light and dark. Cause I gotta like put dark spots in and then mostly cover them again. So that there's like this depth going on where like it looks like it goes in and then like pops out again and that's the difficult part. <laughs> and I'm just like I'm using the hard airbrush for this. But it's uh, just like I'm, just, I'm stabbing it over, over and over to like give it like this stippling effect. For this one, I might actually have made the fluff part a little too like realistic, maybe because with the like the toony like cartoon lines, it doesn't fit, maybe. But I'm kind of okay with it right now, actually. I was a little unsure at first, but I feel like... I feel like it's not that bad. It does need a more extreme highlight value. Hey Sand, welcome back. How's it going? Yeah, cause like, there's supposed to be that super bright light. 
on the one part of the sphere. So I gotta put that super bright light look into it, you know? It's in this general area. Also, I've decided, I guess, that this wool thing is kind of shiny. It's got like little lights from the haze or something. I think changing the color of these lines will actually help as well. Maybe I will. Alright, we gotta go even darker for this one, boys. Alright. Okay. Must be hard to figure out which bumps get the light. Yeah, I'm like... I'm trying to... Like, picture it out in my brain. And it's kind of hard. I don't know if other people do it a lot, but whenever I try to draw something, I often kind of think about it, like, in my head, like, how it would feel to hold it and stuff like that. So, I'm, like, trying to remember <laughs> or think about, like, if I, like, picked it up and, like, moved it around, how, like, fluffy it would look. Stuff like that. Like, I think I do need to put more of these, like, bright highlights in. So, like, here. Here. Because now I've got all these little bumps. And these little bumps are like spheres too, you know? So I gotta like... I gotta put the shinies on them. Wherever the light will like cascade across it. It's very like noisy, you know? It's, it's one of the most imperfect kind of things I could draw. But I'm gonna call it good where it is right now. I'm gonna say I'm happy with that. Um, I wasn't gonna shade these lines, but I guess so. I'm gonna color these lines just to color these lines. Oh, too bright. Sorry if I go kind of quiet, by the way, when I'm doing this. It's okay, we're quiet too. Thank you. I need to save, but I'm slightly afraid that my file explorer is going to pop up and there's going to be something bad in there. So let me just like spam 
Let's stop real quick. Okay, there we go. Study one. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the line art color stuff too on the fluffy one. Oh god, please don't crash. No crash arena. Please. Oh, I dropped my pen. And then I got to do the faces. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, isn't it? That did make a world of difference. Oh. Oh, Jesus. He scared me. <laughs> so, sorry, I'll meet my grandfather's on the phone. Alright, people might end up getting an extra day on the study stream. I've been informed I'm going to have to end my live stream within the next 10 minutes because Aerie is going to go live and I have to go moderate his chat. I wanted to stream until 6 but I guess there was a miscommunication. So I'm going to post my circle portion my uh, sphere portion of the study in my discord chat and then I guess tomorrow or later on tonight we'll blame for tomorrow because I didn't know that this was gonna happen um we will do the face portion I guess maybe I should have known that making myself the challenge a little harder for myself would take longer uh, I thought I would have more time Sorry, that's on me, I guess. Um. You can wait if you want. Actually, it's, it's up to you. It's up to you. You can wait if you want. If you want to post them, go ahead and post them. I'll be posting mine. But, um, yeah, look at that. Oh my god, when you zoom out, it actually, like, oh my god. <laughs> All right, thank you everybody who showed up today. Thank you, Megs, thank you, Hip, thank you, Casey, thank you, Sand, thank you, Aerie. I'm gonna end the stream here. The VOD will be on my VOD channel. You're gonna post it? All right. 
Thank you guys so much and see you next time.